Hey guys, what's up? You know, I think with everybody kind of giving their thoughts lately about, you know, Vince McMahon, especially fans, uh, from what I understand, just recently asking him to kind of kick the bucket. <sighs> I guess the big question anybody has is, is it time for Vince to step down or the board of directors, fictional or legit, to vote him out of power? You know, you know, is it time for that to happen? And, you know, that is a legitimately good question to ask because, you know, that there is, you know, I, I don't know how easy to say this. I mean, there's just a lot of negative criticism that's come his way over the past couple of years. You know, and the negativity even stems even further than that. I mean, people talk about some of the things that he did to kind of preserve his his company, preserve the his stars or protect his stars. And, you know, people could probably understand like maybe 30, 40 years ago him doing that because they, his company was just up and running, you know, on a national level. You know, at that time, but in the past several years, if not a decade, you know, people, you know, they wonder, you know, is it time for him to step down? Is it time for him to let someone else, like a Shane or a Stephanie or even a Paul Lefecht, aka Triple H, step in? And that is a good question. You know, is it time for the board of directors legitimately to come together and say, Vince, we have to vote? in favor of incompetence and we have to veto you we have to vote you out of power because you don't have it anymore you know again it makes you curious it makes you wonder exactly you know whether or not it is time and there's a lot of people that would agree that yeah it is time for him to step down it is time for him to um you know, pass the torch, if you will, pass, you know, like I said, pass the torch, pass the, um, pass the ball, if you will, and let someone else run with it and score with it on multiple occasions. <sighs> you know, you could ask, you know, not just, you know, wrestling YouTubers, like just Alex, FKA Deluxe Man, the Schleg Daddy, Jeff Shego of OTRS Central, you know, Chase Oliver 68, no DQ, dot com with Aaron Rift and Jeff Meacham and many others, Brian Zane, Queen of the Ring, you know, um, Bill Apter himself, Dave Meltzer, Brian Alvarez, you know, Mike Johnson, you know, all these people, you know, you, you know, each and every one of them that, you know, good mic work, if you will. And I know I'm naming off a lot. Solo Monster, uh, and Don Tony and Kevin Castle, you know, many of them have vocally kind of in their own way. Even JD from NY206 has been vocal about it and said, and, and, the, and each of them in their own way have kind of alluded to the fact that Vince needs to go away. He needs to step down. He needs to pass the torch. Or in some cases, needs to basically be removed by possibly the board of directors voting voting, voting uh, incompetence on his part. Like, you know, look, he just doesn't have it anymore. But the question is, is it time for that to happen? And for me, honestly, in my opinion, I think it is. I mean, look, I love WWE. I love wrestling. Some of the wrestling I do watch is through YouTube, through WWE Network. Heck, one of the wrestling programs I watch through YouTube is MLW, and I think they're doing great. That's Major League Wrestling. I think they're doing great. Heck, I'll watch AEW Dark on occasions, because if I don't watch Dynamite, at least I'll watch Dark, and that'll help me catch up on things. You know, 
I look at this stuff. Heck, I watch the highlights of Impact to see how they're doing, and I enjoy what I see. The thing is, I love wrestling. I really do. I mean, I watched WrestleMania, and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed WrestleMania as a whole. Maybe not the best WrestleMania, but I enjoyed it. The highlights, of course, two of the biggest highlights being the cinematic matches that they did. The Boneyard match and the Firefly Funhouse. You know, so as a wrestling fan, and, you know, so as, a, be, as far as being a wrestling fan, I should say, I, I still thoroughly enjoy wrestling. I mean, heck, just last night I put on the WWE Network and because I watched Brian Zane's review of it, rewatched Brian Zane's Wrestling with Regret review on it, I decided to watch a little bit of Bash of the Beach '95. The thing is, the thing is, and I'm a little tired. I did work today, eight hours. But like I said, the thing is, you know, I still love wrestling, but I haven't been able to sit back and watch. A full episode of SmackDown, a full episode of Raw, a full episode of NXT, or AEW and AEW and, and the like. And it's not just because of the lack of crowd. It's be because my enthusiasm for it has dwindled down. And it's not and it doesn't just have to deal with the fact that I'm working. Heck, one of the things I do watch on the days that I work at night, late at night, because it comes on, and I DVR it, is Vice's Dark Side of the Ring. Because I think it's a great wrestling documentary investigation series. So, you know, again, I still love wrestling, but right now it's just, it's just not the same. And again, it's not just because of the lack of crowd. I mean, they've proven that even with or without a crowd, they can put on a good show. And that's all brands, that's all promotions. But honestly, as far as WWE is concerned, I do believe it's time for Vince to step away. I really do. I think it is time for him to step down. I think it is time for, if not his decision, if not on his own accord, you know, the board of directors, I think legitimately have to vote out in favor of incompetence or something like that. And basically tell Vince, look, we appreciate everything you've done for the company as its owner, you know, making it into what it is. But you just don't have it anymore, and we need some a new, fresh mind to running the place. You know, and I, and I think, and I think that's that's honestly what's got to happen. I think Vince, either on his own accord, which is unlikely to happen. And which uh, what I'm trying to say is unlikely to happen, and more so, the board of directors, you know, voting in favor of incompetence. You know, I think it's honestly, I do think it's time for Vince to to step away. I think it is time for him to 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 leave, to hand it hand the ball off to someone else. You know that you know that knows what they're doing. I honestly believe that. And a lot of people say it should be Triple H. It should be Triple H. It should be Shane. It should be Stephanie. And it's because when they look at them, when they look at those three, they look at three individuals that have a unique freshness to them. They can bring a fresh take. They can bring new a new v v version a vision, I should say, of WWE to the forefront that people will like. But the thing is, the only way they're going to be able to do that is for Vince McMahon to step down. You know, I think it, you know, he needs to step down and basically let someone else have a run at it. I mean, everybody was hoping when he restarted the XFL, that could be the first step in that direction, but that didn't happen. So now, it's either up to Vince himself, or it's up to the board of directors to vote in favor of incompetence. In other words, just, you know, come to the realization, let him know that he's been ousted out, he's been voted out, and they need someone new, newer, 
and younger, if not with a more innovative, fresher mind and take on what needs to happen. So, so, you know, it, so, you know, in my opinion, yes, I do believe it is time. How it happens, how it occurs, it's up in the air. But I do think it is time. I do think it is time for Vince to, to step down and let someone else run WWE. And whether he does the stepping down and riding off into the sunset on his own, or he's voted out because of incompetence, hence by the WWE board of directors or whoever he ends, whoever is his board, whatever they call it, his Congress, his his House of Representatives, if you will. If that is what needs to happen, it needs to happen. Because here's the thing, you want WWE to be the, you know, Vince, I should say, if he wants WWE to be the mega hit it used to be, and that even those that criticize what's going on know it can be, then it's time for him to step down. It's time for him to, you know, let someone else run things and go from there. And again... The three options, either individually or together, in my opinion, are Paul Levesque, a.k.a. Triple H, Shane McMahon, and Stephanie McMahon. Those are the three. I know rumors fly around uh, that Kevin Dunn could be the one that takes over after Vince. But I think that's the last thing people want. Because a lot of people would say Kevin Dunn would just keep Vince's vision going, whether we like it or not. So... So, honestly, in my opinion, guys, I think, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I had to take care of business right there. But like I said, in my opinion, honestly, I, I think it is indeed time for uh, for Vince to step down. And whether or not it's on his own accord where he finally decides or has the realization he needs to step down and let others take over or, or you know, like I said, it's... Um, you know, it's the it's the board themselves that, you know, vote in favor of incompetence, basically saying, look, you know, you know, you just, uh, you know, you don't have it anymore uh, to be running this company because the decisions you make are not working. Um, you know, you know, whether it's that or like I said, he steps down or something like that, it's I, I do believe it is time. I mean, again, no. No disrespect towards the guy. No disrespect whatsoever. He's done a phenomenal job with WWE slash WWF. He's done a phenomenal job with the WWE slash WWF. There's no doubt. But the thing is, honestly, the time has come, I think, in my opinion, for him to realize that maybe it's time for him to step away let and hand the ball, hand the torch off to someone else and let them run with it. More specifically, people would want someone like a, a Triple H, you know, a pa a.k.a. Paul Levesque, or his daughter Stephanie, or his son Shane running things. If not all three together, because that way, you know, they could be a legitimately, not storyline-based, but legitimately um, a fresh start. Like I said, not storyline-based or anything, but a legitimate straight shoot no work, no nothing, fresh start for the company. And perhaps that's what's needed. Like I said, some people have heard rumors that Kevin Dunn could be the one that takes over for Vince, but like I said, that's the last thing people want. But, you know, because, you know, everyone, even those that worked in the business, like, you know, a G Bill Apter, a Jim Cornette, you know... <laughs> people that you see interview during Dark Side of the Ring, stuff like that. Some of those people have said, along with wrestling YouTubers like Solomaster, Oterra Central, Just Alex, JD from NY, you know, Good Mike Work, all of them, you know, No DQ, Don Tony, Kevin Castle, 
you know, all of them have basically said similar things to what those that work in the business as insiders or alumni or whatever, or have worked for the company, have moved on elsewhere, have said, you know, and that is the last thing that company needs, needs is Kevin Dunn being given the ball and the torch by Vince and told to run with it because basically Kevin Dunn would be someone that would keep Vince's vision alive and maybe, in their opinion, make things worse. So, honestly, the the favoritism or the... Well, yeah, the favoritism of who should take over when Vince steps down was voted out due to incompetence or due to the fact that he can't do it anymore would be someone like a, a Triple H, a, a.k.a. Paul Levesque, or Stephanie McMahon, or Shane, or all three, like I said. You know, they would be more in favor of them taking over than someone like, you know, Kevin Dunn. So, yeah, honestly, in my opinion, I think it is time for Vince to step down and, and hand the ball over, pass the torch, if you will. And, you know, it, and just let a new, fresher slate of minds continue the legacy of WWF WWE that his father Vincent J. McMahon started back with Capital Wrestling and just you know like I said just let this new fresher slate of minds this new generation take it into the future and take it beyond expectations even he Vince McMahon Jr. or even his father would have not expected and have it and thus result in something that fans would love to see on a weekly basis, if not a monthly basis. So, so honestly, I think it is time. And I'll be honest, I don't think Vince is going to do it on his own. So, I think it's going to take legitimately the board of directors, or whoever he calls his board, Congress, House of Representatives. I think it's going to take them voting uh, in favor of incompetence. And saying, look, you know, you you can't do it anymore. And you need to hand the reins off uh, to someone else. So, and I think they would honestly be in favor of a Triple H or Stephanie or Shane, if not all three, over someone like Kevin Dunn. I mean, if Vince was to say, well, okay, fine, you want to remove me, you want to vote me out, fine, but I'm going to name my successor and it's going to be Kevin Dunn. I bet they would be the first to say, no, you're not going to bring Kevin in because he's just going to continue what you did. We need a fresher, younger take, and they'd probably be in favor of Triple H, Stephanie O'Shea, in my opinion. But again, taking nothing away from what he's done, what Vince McMahon has done with the company. He's done a phenomenal job. Whether you like the guy or you don't, you can't deny that. But I think the time is now. I think the time is now for him to start realizing he needs to pass the torch, hand the ball over to a new generation of minds, and just right off into the sunset and watch what he created into a national powerhouse that originally his dad created with Capital Wrestling is going to grow into something more for future generations. So that's just my my opinion. But what do you guys think? Do you think it's time for Vince to step down? And how do you think you know do you think it's time for Vince to step down or be voted out? What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you all think. And I would love to hear from each and every one of you a response of any kind. Just Alex, I'd love to see you do a video on this because I know you would have a lot to say. Solo Monster, same with you, OTR Central. What do you guys have to say about this? Let me know down below. Comment if you like. And I am out. Thank you all for that.